gone, you've gone early on the, on the food. What are you talking about? I'm just sitting here. I'm just uh, sitting here. I don't know what you're talking Paul's about. Paul's here, Paul Ainsworth. Uh, look, a classic British dish. Yes. One of our favourites. Fish and chips, boy. Fish and wrong, chips. I mean, you can't it. go wrong. I have started. Oh, right. Yeah, I've, yeah. I'm going to get oh. cracking. So I'm going to start with the batter. So the batter, really, really simple. Flour, salt and soda water. All right, so, so I'm not way. adding, yeah, I'm not adding beer or anything like that. For me, the beer doesn't do anything for the batter. It just sounds nice when you see it on a menu. What you want with the soda water is really, really fizzy, fizzy soda water. And it's the carbonation in the soda water that then gives you this, like, fantastic, really crisp, light batter. And that's ultimately what you want on your fish and chips. Oh, that it's really delicious. Light yeah. batter. Oh, I'm just tasting it, what? and it's, it's so great, good. It? Do you know, Paul, you see, Put all the, the bits of batter that would be floating around you chuck out. You've yeah. sprinkled them on top of the fish. Yeah. That's scraps. ridiculous. I'd eat that all day. Oh, I love the scraps. So I've just put oh add, in, add in the soda water into the batter here. So you want to get sort of, you know, like almost like single cream consistency. Oh, yeah. Like that. So you don't want it too thick because then it becomes quite claggy around the fish. So we're almost there now. That's perfect, right? So I'm just going to add our batter. How does this work? Do you not, are you not meant to like wait till he finishes and then everyone goes, oh, do you want to taste it? And everyone goes, oh, it's lovely. You've no, just... That's how it used to be, but <laughs> right. when then lockdown happened, right. we used to just get our food, so we used to just start. So now I just haven't gone back to the old way of doing it and waiting till the end. I like your way. I just get involved because then you can eat a bit more. I'm gonna so I'm using that. haddock, all right? Yeah. Really sustainable, Love absolutely haddock. delicious. Dipped in there like that, right? And there's a little, little trick to it. Just grab it by the tail. Yeah. Make sure it's completely submerged in that batter, and then just hold it. Wiggle it around, just hold it on the tail. Let it fluff up like that, all right? Now it's floating, so that will stop it sticking to your basket. Yeah. Ah. Drop it in. Now this is the good bit, this is your scraps. With your fingers, like that. Oh, is that how you do yeah. it? Yeah, oh, and that's how we're gonna get that really, you see how I've got that lovely, yeah. oh, my like, goodness. all so splattered, kind of like crispy fake scraps. bits. Fake yeah. scraps, I like it. Exactly. Can I just ask, if you in. haven't got one of those um, deep fryers, because I haven't got one, can yeah. you just do it in a pan? Yeah, which yeah. I've got over here. Oh, so fantastic. I'm going to show you another recipe. So as you can see now, we've got our... Just washing my hands. That's we've lovely. got our fish and chips on. I'll come to the potatoes in yeah. a second. Here, if you haven't got a deep fat fryer, I've got another fish, pollock. Again, super sustainable, mm. really delicious. Kids love it, nice chunky white fish. I've taken golden breadcrumbs, you know, everyone's got those at home in yeah. their store cupboard. Cornflakes. What? All right, cornflakes, amazing texture, crushed up. Black sesame seeds, some phyllo pastry, and some smoked paprika. And I've just dusted, look at that. Gonna turn those over. They look great, don't they? They look, look great, that. don't they? Is that All what right? we've got in their little parcel here? That's what you've got in the little parcel. And I'm, oh. when they're crisp on both sides, I love that you've done it in the newspaper. Oh, my word. Yeah. I'm going to finish them so nice. in a little bit of Aww. lemon, lime and some parmesan. So, again, a nice little, nice little twist. Smell the cheese. Right. Going in. Hang potatoes. On. Get a quick, quick oh. tuition on potatoes, right? They're unbelievably that is good. so nice. To mm. get a great chip, it's all about the potato. Mm -hmm. And then it's about gradually removing the moisture from the potato, because then you'll get this. Listen to this. That sound. Nice. That's what you want. So crispy and so fluffy. Well, that's the first thing I tasted, and it's delicious. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. So if you do have one of these at home and you're mm. easy to get online, turn it to 100. Yeah. Cut your potatoes. Don't have too much waste, all right? So whatever size you want on your potatoes, just cut them like that, right? OK? That's your chip. Now, if you want them a bit thinner, a bit thicker, like that, OK? You can just Put them the into the... So, you know, like ro roast potatoes, when you're parboiling them? Mm -hmm. You're essentially doing the same thing. Fry on 100, pop the potatoes in, the chips, cook them until they're completely soft, lift them out, let them rest, do them the day before. When you're ready to do chips, wow. turn the fryer up to full, and away you go. You'll have, I promise you, like, I mean, when they float on top like that... That's insane. what you want. This right. is the perfect chip. You see the little bits there where it's kind of little broken bits? And that's all fried up nicely. This is going to be, this is going to be it's great. Delicious. Are you ready? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so with this... The man's a joke. That's you unbelievable. See... <laughs> it's just unbelievable. So you see this? There's our, there's our goujons. Oh. They're done, all right? So all I'm going to really do... Nice, aren't they? Our fish and chips good. are nearly ready to plate up, so I'm just going to do a little bit of lemon zest, all right? Paul, what's this? Bit of... this, is, this is amazing. Lime zest. That is curry sauce. Oh, oh a little bit of curry sauce. I didn't so the idea know. was, when we did this dish, we were like, up and down the country, it's mm. the only thing we haven't got on there is gravy. But you can't, we've got all bases covered, mushy peas, tartar sauce and curry sauce. So that's your goujons done, right? Now, 
Look at that. Just pop them into your basket. You've got that lovely lime, oh, lemon love zest, parmesan. So that's that, all right? Now, fish and chips. Got our thing for our scraps. So we take our chips out. So chips, chips are out, all right? You've Which literally got about 20 seconds. Really nicely seasoned those, OK? Oh, they're lovely. Chips go on, like that. All right. Look at that. Okay. The scraps are a thing of genius. That's life-changing. Now, look at that for a piece of fish. All right. Oh, go on, get it on. That it looks on. beautiful. It. All right. Scraps on top. Mr Ainsworth, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you so very much. Bit of vinegar. Spray it. Yeah, spray, spray it on. It. Thank you so much. Uh, for all those recipe details, all you need to do is go on this morning app.